uni thread, I'm just using the black thread, uni thread. You could use a 6 o or the 8 o it's up to yourself. You could use whatever thread you like. Now I'm just going to put down a layer of thread along the shank. Now you come slightly around the, the bend of this hook. What I'm, what I'm going to do is put the tail in line with the shank, the straight part of the shank. Which is around about here. Should do it. Now I've just got a sunburst hackle. So now you could use a hen or a cock, just entirely up to yourself. Just going to bring out the fibres 90 degrees from the stem. So line up the tips for you. The same on the other side. Nice thick tail. And I'm just going to roll these fibres to mix them up. Length, basically just a tail length. I mean, it's about half the, the length of the body, say. So you catch this on. And then just put my way up, tidying things up. Take your time at this point. Now we're tying a silver rib. Now I have used a nylon rib, which lasts a lot longer at times. It's up to yourself. But yeah, I mean you could use a fluorescent rib. But I'm just going to stick to the silver, just to show you. And it's a, an oval silver tinsel. There we are. The measure is like probably around about four to five mil from the eye, because you need to tie in two hackles and have a reasonable head. Now we've got an oval silver tinsel, and this is a, a medium sized. Catch this. On the side. Right my way down. Now for the body, you could use a black dubbin. You could use seals fur, which works well. You could use light bright, black light bright, angel. You could use like angel hair, or a few things. I'm just going to use a just a simple black wool. Now this is a length for the tennis fly, at least uh, 12 inches or so. So you get plenty to tie it in. Again, I'm going to catch it in the full length of the body, and nice and tight, wind up. And trim. Then we want to form like a tapered body. We just open the wheel out. Wheel covers really well. Try and do it nice and tight. There's two strands in this. I've removed the second element. They call a three ply, as far as I believe. And uh, I've taken one out. All the way up. And I'm going to head back down. Right through it. It's open the, the turns out, as I say, flatten it so you've got a better shape. It's always. I'm using the edge of the, for the bit. I can see the edge of the hook or the shank onto my table so I can see exactly the shape I'm forming. Now, as you work your way down this point, don't stop short of the, the back so you can start to form like a taper. And you just work your way up. Cross your thread, nice and tiny bit of thread, two or three turns in. And you trim it practically the full length of the, the head area. Tidy up. Don't worry too much about the head because you want a good, good size head on this fly. Rough it up a wee bit. Your fingers will bring out some of the, the fluff. Now for the for the wing of the fly, this is just barbed rabbit. It's just a, a rabbit you can buy now that's got a, a marked black bar through it. Length. At least I would say twice the body length. And then just open out the area where you're going to tie it in. Now what I've done with the skin is I've cut it into a sort of point. So it's got a taper. Down on top. Three turns in. And then just cut it. I usually like to cut it into a sort of taper, a point. 
And then what you want to do is just work your thread towards the eye, tying it in. And you see you get a nice taper cut. Um, it just helps to form the head for you. Just work your thread to the eye. And then work your way back up. And then what we want to do is moisten the hair slightly. This makes it much easier to control the hairs. So see where you've, you're actually going to put the turns in between to hold it down. I'm just looking at the spot where I'm going to start. Around about there. Maybe a wee bit further, just a wee touch. Nice and tight. You need a good strong tinsel to hold this. And I say, work your way up. Oops, just got the bobbin here. Position it where you want. Again, open it out. Let's see how it's sitting. So I say, take your time when you're doing this. Put on a nice rib. Nice flight. You can see the difference it makes, a wee bit of moisture on it just helps to control it. Let me see where we are. I'm just going to come back a wee bit. If you're not happy, go back. Always go back. And again, a wee space, just pull it, through, pull it through the rib. Just check you're not taking it around with you. All the way to this to the front. I usually like to try and put like a full turn if I can and then upside the head and then bring in a good few turns just to make sure it's not going to move. Again what you can do is just cut this a wee bit long and take away the bear the thread inside the tinsel tie it down. It makes it much flatter. It takes away the lumps and bumps if you do that. As always, rabbit gets everywhere, you've just got to be patient with it. And then tidy up the area. Way up. See how the hair's sitting. It looks okay. It's fine. Now I'm going to use two hackles, sunburst, he well, sunburst hen and a hot orange. Now this is a genetic, this one here, now she died sunburst. And this one here is just a Chinese hot orange. Both work well, so I'm going to put the sunburst one on first. A bit longer than that. Just the length is up to, I mean, I would say Maybe at least halfway. We tie it in by the tip. Let's pull it back. Nice and tight. Just gonna break this off. And then fold your hackle and you're looking at a turn in front of the other. I'll probably put in about Three turns or so is plenty, I would think. There you go. Cross your thread. Nice and tight. Now I've got a 90 degree bend into that, so I can really keep it, keeps the thread turns, or keeps the hackle turns really neat and tight. Down and back up. Tidy up the head area. Don't worry about the head length or the head size. Then we want a hot orange in front. Tie in the exact same way. Tie in by the tip. Two or three turns, fold it back. Keep it nice and tight. Break the tip off. And again, just fold the fibres. Keep it up. Keep the turns straight as you can. 
See, a couple of turns is enough for this. There we are. Getting across the thread, a 90 degree bend into the stem. Trim away the thread, oh, the, sorry, the waist. And then again, get that head tidied up, form a nice taper. Now you could add an adhesive eye, which is used a lot, into this fly. And uh, I'm just going to use jungle cock. So now you want to select two nice eyes. Now you could change the color of the jungle cock as well. You could, you could, you could use it. So well, in this case, I'm just going to use it natural. But you could have red. You could have orange. You could have. Uh, which I think is a nice one, the sunburst itself. But I'm just going to use the natural on this one. So you want two nice eyes, two smallish eyes. Yeah. Now what we do is tie them, just remove some of the fluff. And we tie them both at the same time. And tie them quite short. So I'm just going to tie them, just use a small eye, don't put them too far in. On the sides. Yeah, two or three turns just to see where they're going to sit. We quick look, make sure they're the same length, same angle, slightly up into the the wing. That looks okay. We take the thread all the way down, draw these back. It's a wee bit of wax. Make sure it's not going to slip. Again, form a nice head, nice tidy area, to away the excess. Just gonna keep a hold of the eyes so the eyes don't move. I'm going to go up and down a couple of times here just to make sure I'm nice and neat. And then come in what finish once you're happy. And trim away your thread. We quick look to see how it's how it's sitting. And that looks okay. And then what I like to do is uh, come in with some super glue first. Which really hard sets it. And this is easy brush, lock tight. Which just make sure you don't touch the hackles. All the way around. Now allow that to dry. And then just add a coat of varnish and then that's you. Finished. Mm -hmm.